Welcome back to our channel, Exposing the Great Australian Government. In this video, we'll be looking at the document, Two Different High Courts of Australia. This document will show you, the people, the official government documentation on where and how these purported politicians and political parties have created their own court system outside of our primary law, the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act as proclaimed and gazetted under the Royal Coat of Arms. We are trying to simplify this factual information so it is easier for people to comprehend, and this is no easy task. Don't you think it's time we all took notice of this information, as we don't want any of ours or your future generations living under tyranny? How long will it be before we're all herded into boxcars. Let's get into it. The two different High Courts of Australia. Political parties sit under their party constitutions and not under the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 consisting of its preamble, clauses 1 to 9 and the schedule. Under the above two systems there are two High Courts of two different definitions of Australia. Number 1 under the Royal Coat of Arms, which has Crown and Constitutional Authority. This High Court of Australia, established within our Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901, consisting of its preamble clauses 1 to 9 and the Schedule and the Judiciary Act No. 6 of 1903, Crown and Constitutional Authority. The Justices that sit in this High Court of Australia are appointed by the Governor-General in Council. This keeps the separation of powers. The, that Governor-General in Council must represent the Queen, Her Most Excellent Majesty, Defender of the Faith. The Governor-General wears two hats. Hat number one, Governor-General and Commander-in-Chief. Hat number two, Governor-General in Council. Since the 2nd of February 1960, no Governor-General has represented the Queen, Her Most Excellent Majesty, Defender of the Faith. From that date forward, therefore, no Justice appointed with Crown and Constitutional Authority of the same place of the Sovereign, in whose name they are to administer justice from the 2nd of February 1960 forward. All sit as quorum and enforce political party treason. Guardians, but where? Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 is not a tool to be wielded for political party expediency. It is the supreme law of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Governor-General and State Governors, in conjunction with the High Court at Chapter 3, Judiciary Act No. 6 of 1903, are the Constitutional Commonwealth and State Guardians to take care that is it is followed, not outmanoeuvred by political parties. The federal and state parliaments are not sovereign bodies. They are legislators with limited powers, and any law which they attempt to pass in excess of those powers is no law at all. It is simply a nullity, entitled to no obedience. Guardians of the Constitutions, where? Political parties in 1973 created their own Statutory Australia, Statutory Governor-General of Australia, Statutory Queen of Australia, Statutory Great Seal of Australia, Statutory Australian Citizen, all done in treason. So now we move on to number two, the second High Court, Political Parties Republican Seal equals treason. This High Court of Australia, established in 1979 by and for the political parties under their private Governor-General of Australia, Queen of Australia and Great Seal of Australia, this Australia was created by and for the political parties in 1973 as a statutory Australia by changing the constitutional and official definitions without a referendum while sitting within our Parliament. This High Court of Australia has no Crown and Constitutional Authority. These pretend judges sit as a quorum in the presence of, with no Crown and Constitutional Authority, do not 
sit in the place of the sovereign in whose name they are to administer justice. The political party's High Court of Australia now controls all state courts after the states joined the status of the Commonwealth of Australia as a sovereign, independent and federal nation without referendums and criminal investigations into treason by all involved. The political party's High Court of Australia sits over and above federal and all state courts and protects treason, pedophiles, sabotage, treachery and fraud. These two different constitutions also create two different Commonwealth of Australia's and two states of every state. So on the left we've got what we're supposed to have with the Royal Coat of Arms. On the right is the political party treasonous constitution with their BS Australia Acts with their Queen of Australia which again in the 1998 Commission Constitutional Commission it states in that that they need a referendum for the Queen of Australia. When are we going to wake up people? So, uh, lawyers swear their oath to the political party's High Court of Australia as shown here and enforce political party treason. Lawyers equals officers of the court. That designation also reflects the reality that you owe your professional legitimacy to the court. It is the court which admits you, and it is the court which will, as necessary, impose sanctions for ethical dereliction. Lawyers, barristers, Queen's Council and State Councils enforce treason through these political party Australian courts under the Australia Act 1986. The judiciary and legal fraternity have sold their souls to the devil. Equals political parties. This Victorian Chief Justice QC equals dumb. Chief Justice Queen's Counsel Marilyn Warren. This so-called Chief Justice is a total fraud. How can you be a QC when under the political party's sovereign, independent and federal nation, Republic, there is no crown and constitutional authority equals political party treason we the people voted in 1900 and again in 1999 to stay as a constitutional monarchy we can't be both think people why why did the political parties create their own private high court of australia in 1979 to their queen of australia Great Seal of Australia and Governor General of their Commonwealth of Australia, all done under their changed constitutional definitions in 1973 without a referendum. The political parties in creating their treasonous High Court of Australia by amending, amending the Judiciary Act 1903 of the Commonwealth of Australia, Act No. 6 of 1903, was amended by the Judiciary Amendment Act No. 2, 1979, Commonwealth Act No. 138 of 1979, which repealed sections 4 to 14 at Part 2. Constitution and seat of the High Court, our High Court. The political parties removed the Constitution and seat of our High Court established under our Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 and the Judiciary Act No. 6 1903 to create their treasonous High Court of Australia under their Republic seal. Then by the Law and Justice Legislation Amendment Act 1988 Commonwealth Act No. 120 of 1988 which amended Section 80 Common Law to Govern which we've already done a video on the common law to govern. Judiciary Act No. 6 of 1903, Common Law to Govern, Section 80, replacing Common Law of England with Common Law in Australia, which equals treason, circumventing our Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901, as proclaimed and gazetted. 
So High Court of Australia Act 1979, number 137 of 1979. Judiciary Amendment Act number 2, 1979, number 138 of 1979. Evidence Amendment Act 1979, number 139 of 1979. Acts numbers 137, 138 and 139 purportedly enacted on the same day. Come on people, please wake up. The Australian judiciary sold their souls to the political parties. Equals willful treason. Here's a website you can go and have a look at. All this is high treason by political parties that are not within our Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901, as proclaimed and gazetted. Wake up, people. Another ripper, Dick. Cheers. If you think that you are sitting at the same table as these filthy, rich, purported politicians, public servants, then you don't really have your eyes open. And now is the time to step up, before all our future generations are living under the control of these traitors and criminals.